So a mason jar. You're also gonna need these awesome rub-on stickers. And as soon as I saw these, I knew I had to do something with these. And I actually saw the stickers, the rub-on stickers first, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do something with them. And then I found the jars and oh my gosh, I was excited. So, and then you need some ribbon. I love this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. There's so many fun things that you can do with it. And I know a lot of people, including myself, love farmhouse style decorations. So that goes with a lot of them. The next thing that you can get, these come in a pack of three. These are the three colors that came in one of the packs that I got. This is Baker's Twine. So this is a brown, orange, and a yellow. And these are just perfect to wrap with this ribbon around those jars. Also, another option, instead of the Baker's Twine, you can just use this jute, I think is what it's called. Anyway, and that is, it looks like this. So they're all really cute. So those are the main things that you need to start your jar. Um, I ended up putting some paper leaves in the bottom and I'll show you how to do that. I have a cutout machine that um, helps me cut those out. You can use cookie cutters. You can draw your own leaves and cut them out and just put them in the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect because they're just going in the bottom of the jar. So I think I'm going to do, I'm still gonna do the clear jar for this tutorial because I think it'll just be easier for you to see. And since we're doing the clear jar, I'm trying to decide which ones. I want this one for this. It'll show up on the yellow pretty good. I'm gonna do this one for that one. So I'm gonna do. this Hello Autumn on this one. And then I can do the pumpkin spice and everything nice on this orange. That's gonna be really cute. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take this sticker off the bottom. Now, you guys know how much of a pain in the butt it is to get these stickers off. But I have found actually the slower that you go, the easier it is to get this off without leaving any of that residue nice that came off. If you just rip it off, you're going to leave all this on the bottom of the jar. So go slow when you're taking off your stickers. Um, then um, we're going to put on the Hello Autumn sign. So these jars, they do have lines. I don't know if you can see it very good, but they have lines on this side and they have lines on this side. So I don't want that to show. So I know that that means that it puts it on a, the kind of cornered edge of the jar. I don't care. I don't want a line in my sign. So I'm just gonna lay this here for a second. And then what you do is you just peel off the backing of this and it's kind of sticky on the other side. So it kind of sticks it a little bit. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to start from the middle and work your way out. So kind of bend it a little and kind of put it like where you want it, starting from the middle and then kind of leave it flat, you see like that? And then you're gonna wanna just kind of work from the edges. So I'm gonna go like this. Work from the edges, okay. Now, because your jar is curved a little on the bottom. It does get a little tricky. Now, you can use a popsicle stick. Um, you can use embossing tools, if you even have one. It's kind of... Or you can use a bone folder. So my preference is to use the bone folder just because it has the sharp tip. But again, the popsicle stick will work fine, or anything really. If you have a like a credit card or you know anything flat, it's gonna work. So like I say, I always work from the middle out just because that's where we started. You wanna make sure you don't get any bubbles in there and you're just rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. And you can usually tell if it's getting on. Do you see where the Hello looks a little bit lighter right here? When you see it getting lighter, that's when you know it's off of this uh, sticker. 
that's when you know it's off. So you just keep rubbing until it starts getting kind of like that. So I'm just gonna keep rubbing this out and if you want to, you can tune me out, but I am going to start talking about kind of some interesting news about the dollar store. I don't know if you guys have heard yet, but the dollar store is going to be upping their cost of their items. I am not too upset about it. I know a lot of people are upset about it, but the way things are going in the world right now, it's just kind of making it impossible to not up prices at the dollar store. So I'm not mad about it. I hope everybody else kind of understands where they're coming from. I, my whole life, have been super excited as soon as dollar stores started popping up. I thought it was like too good to be true. What are they selling there? It's probably not gonna be great, but when my sister and I, my little sister and I would go into a dollar store, we would always feel like we weren't so poor, you know? So yeah, we could go in the dollar store and just be like, shopping spree, it's a dollar. And that's kind of where I found my love of crafting and doing projects was from the dollar store because I felt like I could actually afford to get certain things. I love the dollar store. They're great. I understand why they have to up their prices. I don't know when that's happening, but I know it's probably gonna be soon. It just seems like they can't. Can't keep them down. Okay, now I've got some bubbles in here on these pumpkins. That's okay. I recommend keeping this peep piece of um, plastic that it came on just because when you take it off you can see a little bit better like kind of where those bubbles are you can't see as well through the frosted okay so now we're going to talk about this bottom part hopefully you can see so this is where it starts going curved so I just kind of like rub down rub down and it looks like it's gonna wrinkle, but really, you can smooth it flat and you can't even tell the difference there. So yeah, I recommend doing this with the plastic, even if you take it off and you're like, oh, I wanna rub that down, I would put the plastic back on before you rub it down just because you don't want it to rip or tear. However, if it does rip or tear, I'm gonna show you something. My cousin came over there when I got these and she wanted to try it. And she was super upset because she, um, she kind of messed up on that A there. Don't worry about it, you guys. Rustic look is, or like farmhouse style look is all the rage right now. So with this jar, I'm going to just go around some of the letters and I'm actually gonna do the same thing that happened there. I'm gonna kind of just make it look a little more rustic. I'm actually gonna put some like scratches all along these letters letters and I'm, I'm just gonna make it look more rustic. Okay so now now's when you try and peel it off. You can kind of tell when you're peeling it off if it's ready to come off or not and if it's not that's fine keep it on but just yeah see now it's starting to get there. You can see as soon as it kind of gets that frosty look that it's ready to come off. pumpkin isn't ready to come off yet. I see a bubble. Oh, perfect. Okay. So then you, I, this is not something I would do super fast, but definitely make sure it's on there before you take this off. Sometimes 
time, certain sessions just. All right. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Look at that, okay. So then I'm just going to, there are some spots that I wanna just go over a little bit. Put it back on. Just make sure it's really down there. It just really helps not tear if you just go over it again. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your, your pretty ribbon. I wonder if this has a name to it. it. Just says lace ribbon, great. Okay, so you're gonna get your ribbon out and you're gonna cut the size that you want. I always put it around and kind of gauge how much I want. You want to leave plenty of ribbon for you to tie that bow so it's not too awkward. I'm going to cut it right there. And then I'm going to get, oh, let's see which one do I want with this one. I don't think I want yellow. Um, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do orange. That's what I did on my other one. I liked orange with this one. Anyways, and with this, with the bigger twine, I like to leave it a little bit longer than the lace because I want it to stand out a little bit. Add some color to it. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it on together like this. And tie it. You wanna make sure when you tie it, they're about the same length. Now, there's lots of people that have different ways to tie bows and bows. You guys do whatever you want. I am kind of weird. I like to tie stuff like I'm upside down. I like to tie it upside down. I just feel like I can get a better bow that way. And don't worry if it doesn't look perfect right when you first put it through because you can always fluff it later. This is, honestly, I think this is the hardest part, is the bow, which is kind of fun. But, it's gonna look super cute. Okay, so like I said, you kinda have to Fluff it out. Sometimes I use these little tools because my baker swine doesn't come out. It got nice, I know. I didn't have to dig with my fingernails. Okay. There we go now. This side's a little bit short. But I'm gonna take it out. I can always cut it to match the other side. You can make this look rustic. You can make it look more clean if you want. Like I said, whatever your style is for your house, or I want to give this away as a gift. I mean, it's definitely not going to break the bank. This would be a cute neighbor gift if you wanted to do that, or it'd just be a fun craft to make with your friends. I know my friends like to do all kinds of crafty nights and stuff. So there's that. Then these tea lights I got at Sam's Club, I don't know, I think it was last year, and they came in a 24 pack and they were like 20 bucks. So they're less than a dollar. You can't really see it because that light's really bright. But they're flicker lights. I like that they flicker. So I'm gonna put that in. that I did to put inside these is I cut out these leaves and you know they were flat at first but I took my bone folder and I just made the lines in them that you would see in a regular leaf and then I just kind of scrunched them up and then 
unfolded them. So they just look a little bit more leaf-like in the jar. So these ones are all different shapes. I just did four different ones. And they look pretty cute in the jar. Probably a paper that has double-sided would look better, but I just did what I had for right now. And they turn out pretty cute. It's kind of hard to stick your hands in these. You can, but it's hard. I'm gonna turn this on so you can see it finished. And there it is. Super cute. Thanks, you guys. If you will like and subscribe, I would appreciate that. And I will be making a bunch more tutorials and some out shopping posts or after shopping posts. I hope you guys have a great day.